Good morning guys. It is the morning after my untracked meal last night. If you watched the previous video, you will know exactly what I had and why I'm feeling so good. I'm about to hit an early morning workout and use all those extra calories from last night to crush this workout. I have 30 minutes of cardio today as well, so just right back on track. In this workout footage, you'll see four different exercises that I did on my shoulder day, beginning with dumbbell shoulder press, moving on to seated lateral raises, barbell upright rows, and then plate front raises. I then moved on to machine rear delt flies, dumbbell Arnold presses, cable rope face pulls, and then I ended with standing lateral raise drop set. All of the exercises you see were four sets of 15. For those of you who may be wondering, yes, I still am in prep, and yes, that untracked meal was a strategic part of my prep. Incorporating untracked meals is not something that I always do, however, it can be beneficial from time to time. You really have to know your body or be working with a coach who understands timing of untracked meals and when your body needs one and can truly benefit from one. As you guys know, I'm prepping for my seventh show this season. My feedback at my last show was to come in fuller. This has always been a struggle for me. Maintaining fullness, maintaining size, that's always been an area of difficulty for me. Untracked meals every once in a while help me to maintain my fullness. I'm not saying that this is going to work for everybody. So just because I do an untracked meal does not mean that the next person should do an untracked meal or that their body will respond the same way to it. That is why not one of my clients follow the exact same diet or the exact same training plan because everybody is different. If you're watching this and you're confused about when you should have an untracked meal, if you should have untracked meals, or just have diet questions in general, I encourage you to reach out to me. The individual attention and the programming for your individual body and your needs is so important and something that I also take very seriously. The contact information and the inquiry information to get in touch with me and inquire about my programs is always listed in the description box below. Post-workout is scrambled egg whites, chicken breast, white rice, that I chopped up with some shredded lettuce. I seasoned the egg whites, the chicken, and the rice in the pan with some honey barbecue flavor god, garlic lovers flavor god, and I'm going to top it all with honey mustard. Now back to that untracked meal. If you'll notice, I don't frequently call it a cheat meal, and that is for several reasons. I think the word cheat just has a negative connotation, and I truly don't believe that we should ever associate food in a negative light or associate food with guilt. Um, that's really my biggest tip for having successful untracked or cheat meals is to really remove that feeling of guilt or that feeling of negativity from the action itself. If you're in contest prep, or you're on a strict diet for one reason or another and you happen to overindulge or go over your macros, one thing I want to tell you is that is okay. <laughs> Setbacks are bound to happen. Don't ever let a setback make you feel as though you are weak, as though you are less of a person, as though you effed up. The biggest thing with setbacks, guys, is to just get back up, push forward, and move on. They happen, they're inevitable, they happen for all of us. I've had setbacks, I've had challenges. If anyone tells you that they haven't encountered a setback or a challenge, they're lying to you. That is tip number two for having successful untrapped or cheat meals is to, two words, move on. Know that setbacks happen, grow from them, learn from them, and move on. Tip number three for a successful untracked meal, 
go with friends. I went with Amanda last night. My reason for sharing this tip is because you can share things. It helps you with portion control, it helps you from overindulging, and then that way you're able to try several different things on the menu. <laughs> One key for having a successful on-track meal is to feel satisfied and to enjoy it, but to not overindulge. So sharing things is a great strategy for that. Tip number four, drink lots of water. When you eat things that you may not be used to, that may be higher in sodium, you will probably retain a little bit of water. This morning I am feeling like I am holding a little bit of water and I know that that's normal, so I'm not stressing about it. What you wanna do here is just make sure that you're getting in plenty of water, don't stress about it, but make sure you're getting in your water. As soon as I got home from our meal last night, I drank about 32 ounces of water before I went to bed. I had already drank about a gallon and a half earlier in the day. I'm feeling hydrated, I'm still feeling energized from the food, and I'm ready to crush my workout. My final tip is to use those extra calories to crush your workout. Don't let those extra macros, those extra calories go to waste. Use them to your advantage and crush a workout the next day. I hope that you guys found these tips helpful. If you did, please comment below. If you guys have other tips or strategies that you use for successful untracked or cheat meals, comment those below too. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And on that note, I am headed into Gold to go kill my workout. I got front row parking today, so it's already a good day. I hope you guys are having a good day. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will catch you guys in the next clip. Seriously, how good does this look? It's just tilapia from New Vision Nutrition. Again, I get all of my proteins, veggies, and carbs prepped by New Vision Nutrition. But side note, I thoroughly enjoy tilapia and I don't care what anybody says about it. I wouldn't eat it if I didn't like it and I like it. So judge me, don't care. Bottom line, do what makes you happy. That's it. It's been a nonstop day running from one thing to the next of work, training, posing clients, meetings. And so I'm tired and I'm feeling definite need for some self-care and relaxation time. And so I am going to be ending my night with an Epsom salt bubble bath. I use the Dr. Teal's Relieves Aches and Pain Epsom salt and my secret weapon. <laughs> SpongeBob bubble bath. It does the same thing as adult bubble bath and it's half the price. That is going to wrap up today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously appreciate you. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I will catch y'all next time. I just want to leave you all with one final message. Oh, man.